Hi, and welcome back to 7 Days of Irish Jokes, Day 7, 2017. Thanks for all your submissions this year. Great, great jokes. 2018 is going to be hilarious. But for now, our last day of jokes. Today's a little bit risque, just like last year. So if you're easily offended, then shut this off. We'll wait. Great, you're still here. Okay, okay, today's joke is actually gonna to be told by a guest joke teller. A friend of mine from clear back when we were in high school together, he went to Madison, I went to Redfield, we auditioned for All State Honors Choir together, and he got the best score in the whole state of South Dakota. He's an amazing singer, a tremendous actor, and take it away, my friend, Jim Blanchett. Okay, here it goes. This tall guy and this short guy are in the bathroom at the bar using the urinal, and it's taking quite a long time. So long, in fact, that the tall guy gets a little bored and he starts looking over the partition, where he notices that the short guy has the largest penis he's ever seen in his life. So large, in fact, that he feels he must broach the subject. Excuse me, sir, says the tall guy. I used to consider myself quite well endowed, but you have the largest penis I've ever seen in my life. To which the short guy replies, Well, us leprechauns, being magical creatures, are endowed with extra-large penises. The tall guy goes, Oh my god, you're a leprechaun? And he picks the short guy up with a scruff of the neck. All right, motherfucker, I have caught you. You owe me three wishes. Don't you need a pot of gold? No, 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 none of that crap. I want three wishes. All right, very well. So, what would you like for your first wish? Well, for my first wish, I've always wanted to have a really cool bright red sports car you know with, with a never-ending gas tank so i never run out of gas and never needs any maintenance that kind of thing all right when you leave here tonight you will find a lamborghini sitting in the in the license plate with a full tank of gas that will never empty with your name on the license plate and the keys in the ignition excellent so that's good news now for my second wish i'm not greedy but i want some scratch i want what now Five million dollars. Five million dollars. I can be able to live a pretty easy life in five million dollars and spread it around that too much tension to myself. All right. When you leave here tonight, in the glove compartment, no, the boot of your car, you'll find a briefcase filled with five million dollars in denominations of twenties, tens, and fives. Oh, that's excellent. That's easy to spread around. Very good. Now for my third wish. My third wish, I would like to be able to make love to any woman I ever meet. I just look her in the eyes and say, hey, me, you were in the back of the Lamborghini, and there we go. All right. Well, in the glove compartment of your car, you will find um, some aftershave lotion. Then you sprinkle it on your face, and it'll give you this magical power. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Leprechaun. I'll see you later. Hold on a second, says the short guy. But don't you remember the rest of the legend? I don't know what you're talking about. What's the rest of the legend? Well, in order for your dreams and your wishes to come true, you have to let me have sex with you. Well, that monster? Dude, that ain't gonna happen. That's, that's not gonna happen. Well, then, you're not going to get your wishes dead, are you? So the tall guy thinks about it. Well, Lamborghini, $5 million, any woman I want to have the rest of my life. Okay. So, two hours later, after the world's most painful sex, fill in your own graphics. The two are cleaning up afterwards in the restroom, and the short guy says to the tall guy, uh, Lad, can I ask you a partial question? Uh, sure, what? Can you tell me how old you are? And the tall guy says, well, well, I'm 37. Why? And the short guy says, 37. And you still believe in leprechauns? Irish joke!